Hey, y'all. The girl got a lot on her mind, and that's why y'all getting all these bonuses back to back to back to back. My name is Shan, if you're new here. This is where I say whatever it is that I like, okay? You do not have to agree, but you will hear me. If you do not want to hear me, please stop listening and move about your day. Hello! It's that. My bend it over, love you like so, sir. When I tell you, when I tell you, sis has a special place in my heart. Ooh, that's my type of girl, yeah, shit. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about the secret to minding your own business. The secret to minding your own business is really having something to do. Having something you like that you don't give a fuck about if somebody else don't like it. Having a passion, having something that gets you going. You know what I'm saying? Something that you're happy to wake up and do and get done and 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 enjoy the process. That is the secret to minding your fucking business. You know why I can't sit on the phone and talk about my neighbor and talk about, you know, my cousin and talk about, you know, my sister, my brother, to talk about what my ex doing, to talk about who they're with, to talk about what they look like, because I don't give a fuck about what somebody else has going on that's not advancing me or motivating me or making my life better, okay? I don't even sit and dwell on what's not, amazing in my life because that's wasted energy so if I'm not gonna do it for me why the fuck would I do it for you I don't get off on talking about how horrible someone else's life is and people who get off on that or that does something for them or that makes them feel better about their stagnant ass shit that they're living in are fucking miserable and have a lot of inner work to do and if you are around people who just sit around and watch trash ass TV and have to sit and talk about reality TV to feel like they have a fucking pulse. You and those people have a fucking problem. And you and those people are trying to escape some reality ass shit that y'all not willing to do the work about. And the sooner you come to grips with that shit, the better that shit will get. But as long as you keep talking about this person and that person and having fingers to point and still blaming your parents on why you're stuck in life, you'll be, you will always be stuck. You will always be stuck. Like you have to have something else to do. Like I, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't liked a job I've had since 2012. It is now 2023. Okay, when it comes to quitting, I am not someone that's like, absolutely not. I will never quit. I've quit many jobs, but I've never quit a job that I need, that I felt like I could use in my future in a shitty way. Because you don't have to leave or depart opportunities or jobs or positions in a shitty way to move forward. You don't have to break up with people in a shitty way to break up. You don't. So this this whole idea that you have to have drama with somebody, that's why you left. Or you must have did something wrong, that's why you left. Sometimes there is nothing left for me to learn here. There is no uh, advancement for us to grow Our relationship is not going to get better than it is right now. And I want more. And I'm realizing I can't get that more with you. And I'm realizing that you are not going to give me the more that I feel I need. And that is fine. That is called being a fucking grown up. But when it comes to minding your business, you have to start minding your business. It can't be, oh, 
you know, you see a person, you're just like, okay, I don't want to talk about them anymore. So when we talk, we don't talk about them. Just don't say shit. Whenever somebody bring up somebody you don't want to talk about or you don't deal with, don't say shit. Whenever people don't fucking exist to me, but they still have a post in real life, I don't bring up their name. I don't mention their name. I don't have anything to say. And when their name is brought up, I don't have a response. Okay? There's only so much that a person will do to bring somebody up in a conversation that they know you don't like to see if you're going to get a reaction. And if there's no reaction, they're going to stop bringing them up eventually because it'll be like, oh, she's not going to say anything or he's not going to care or he's not going to respond. So it's pointless that I'm talking about this person to this person. And it is and it should be. Because if they don't really fucking matter, then why are you bringing them up? And this is another thing with me. Minding your business is also not talking about shit that is bothering you that you're not going to do shit about. I'm not going to keep asking somebody about the problem they had last week if they refuse to do the steps to not have the problem. I'm going to stop bringing it up. It's not that I don't feel like you still need help. Is I feel you're not looking for help. You're just looking for a vent or you want to complain or you're just not ready to get the solutions you need to solve that. And that's how I look at it. So minding your fucking business is not hard. It takes um, want to. Like you have to want to not be shitty, to not be shitty. Like I can't want someone to be in a better position or um, be with someone who they deserve if they feel like I don't deserve that person. I deserve this person. I want to work with this person. I want this person to be like the person in my mind, even though it's taking them 13 years, even though it's taking them, you know, five years, six kids, and they don't take care of none of them. And I'm being a single parent while they sleep up in my house. Like that type shit. Like I'm minding my fucking business because clearly you don't want the help. And we have to see when people don't want our help and stop putting energy into shit that we have no business being in. Yo, if you're looking to support She Gets His Shop, that's cool. I like that. And I think it's going to look good on you. I got new t-shirts. I got stickers. I got lighter color hoodies for the springtime people who still like hoodies or sweatshirts. Whatever your deal is. And even if you like mugs, I got you on that too. Check out She Gets It Shop with Teespring. Now back to the show. The worst kind of nosy ass people have got to be the people you're related to who only get on the phone and talk to other people that you're related to when someone's doing bad or someone died or someone um, is losing in life or someone is having a drastic hard time in life and they like huddle together and get on the phone with this person and get on the phone with that person. And that's why I don't fuck with y'all. I don't want to claim family because you want to be nosy. I don't want to claim family to give you tea. I don't want to claim family to make you feel great about, ooh, I'm so glad that's not me. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. And I make this a point to say because I refuse to go to anybody's funeral past my grandparents. I'm not going. So how I interact with you in real life is how I'm going to show love to you and how I'm going to give you your flowers. When you, when your soul has passed and gone, I'm not going to a fucking funeral. And I'm so thankful that my mother does not want a funeral. Because sis, we have an understanding. Me personally, I don't want a fucking funeral. Because I'd be damned if I'm laying up there in a motherfucking casket. 
while motherfuckers get on stage or come to the front and say bullshit about what I meant to them or how they love me. Fuck y'all. If you ain't show me that while I'm living, breathing, needing, wanting, searching, uh, just growing, fuck y'all. Okay? Fuck y'all. Do not feel bad for me when I am physically not here. It doesn't matter. That's spilt milk. People need to learn to do good for people while they're here. Help people out the holes that they're in while they're here. Check up on people on random. Not just on fake ass holidays. Not just on their fucking birthday. Not just because it's Mother Day. Check on them. Show up for them. Guide them when you see that they're going in the wrong way. See if they need fucking help. Stop getting on the fucking phone and having these conversations filled with hate, jealousy, envy, and ki 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 because somebody's life is currently fucked up. That's not family. That's just sick ass people. By default, somebody fucked and you're related to them and so they feel a need to be in your shit. A lot of my kids do not know people I'm related to for that fucking reason. And if my kids just so happen to see you in passing, they just so happen to see you in passing. But if I can help it, they won't be around you on purpose until they're 18 and they can make that decision to go see about you. That's how the fuck I feel. Because I didn't seen too much. I done heard too much. And I, honestly, especially because my family is from the Caribbean, all of these motherfuckers need to take their ass to therapy. Every single fucking one needs therapy because a lot of people are fake balancing the shit that they're in and they can't keep no healthy relationships because they're internally fucked up. Now y'all know the ways that I need to be better. I tell y'all how I need to be better. I have no patience. I don't believe that people could change. Um, I don't, I don't really see character flaws as workable for me like once I peep it because I know how I am I have to dis I have to remove myself I have to remove myself I don't believe in keeping people I don't want to be in the mix like y'all know how I am I'm introverted and I'm extroverted with my people that's how I balance it all I stay to my fucking self there's nobody that's just going to randomly pull up in my driveway and be able to come through my door. No, did you call first? Did you email me? <sighs> you know what I'm saying? I don't give my address to everybody. I'm not going into town and seeing everybody. I'm going into town and I'm probably seeing a couple of people and I'm taking my ass the fuck home. Stay out of people's fucking business if you're not genuine about some shit. A lot of people are not genuine about why they're calling. A lot of people are not genuine about why they want to know what your baby looks like. A lot of people are not genuine because they only want to know who your child's father is so they can get the backing on this nigga. They only want to know who you're fucking so they can have something to say about who you're fucking. Not, is this person treating you good? Um, do you feel good about this person? Do your kids feel good around this person? It's never nothing healthy like that. And I don't want to just talk to people because they're going through a divorce or do you know that they're separating? If they didn't tell me that they're separating, if they didn't tell me that they're having a fucking divorce, I'm not bringing that shit up in conversation because I'm not a messy bitch. A lot of y'all don't know how to not be messy bitches, males included. Learn how to mind your fucking business and I promise you, you'll be less stressed. You probably add 10 more years onto your life for real. Reasons why I feel like you'll be better minding your business is because if you do have a business, it's going to grow. 
is going to be more focused, more precise. If you do have a talent, you're going to spend more time on that instead of other stupid ass shit. Um, you're going to learn to not get in the middle of people's shit unless they straight out say, hey, can I ask your opinion on this? Or um, do you have a suggestion for X, Y, and Z? Uh, learn that your child is not who you assume them to be and spend more time with your child. Start asking them questions. Start sitting in their space, in their room, uh, sitting with them while they play video games, uh, talking to them about the friends that they keep, seeing if they have a decent level of self-awareness. Another way for you to mind your business is by cleaning your dirty-ass car or truck or work vehicle. There is something that you can do for you instead of minding other people's fucking business. Reality TV is not doing anything positive for anybody. All that reality TV does is help people escape their real life shit show of a life. And I know sometimes adulting is like, damn, this can't be all that there is. I want to laugh or I want to see someone in some drama that's not like mine so I could just get a break. And sometimes that break is too fucking long from your reality and you just never fix that shit. And that's why it's kind of dangerous to fall in that trap of feeling like, oh, you have to watch this episode or you have to do this. I know a lot of people that don't even fucking watch TV, but you know what they do do? Make money. They make a lot of money on their business. They're more consistent. Um, If they have, you know, life shit that pops up, they can take care of it because financially they've been doing more than enough. And so a lot of times when you have to focus on something in your life, it's because you haven't been minding your fucking business. Okay? You're not consolidating. You're not... You're doing, you're doing the fucking most is why you cannot mind your business. And sometimes relationships suffer because you can't mind your business. Sometimes your business suffers. Sometimes you could be promoting and marketing something great that you really have. If you would just mind your business, if you would just stop watching other people live their life and, and you live yours. It's going to be so much more beneficial for you, period. And the older I get, I have an understanding of why hating something or people is a waste of energy. Because it takes energy to hate something or to let people know you hate something. Or to show them how much you hate it. What's effort? is not giving a fuck about said thing or person. Like, if certain people that I've had experiences with personally were on Blaze, Chantal would not blow. Chantal would not get a spit of water. You know what I'm saying? But it takes no energy from me to let people know I hate them or they did this or they I ain't got shit to prove to nobody because I live that experience with them. You know what I'm saying? I've lived my experience with that place, you know, and I think sometimes when we don't mind our business or we listen to people, maybe vent. And then we try to match what they hate with our hate. That's wasted energy because they'll never be able to fathom the level of, oh my God, fuck this person that you be having. So learn to just have this. I don't I don't have any more energy to give this person or this thing. I don't even give a fuck about letting people know how much I don't like this person or this thing. I just don't fuck with it. 
I don't care what they did. I don't care what they're doing. I don't care where it's at. I don't care how much money it's making. I don't care who going to be there. Like, my I don't careness is so potent that a lot of times it's like the shit I don't care about, the people I don't care about, it's like they don't exist. We're not even on the same earth. Okay. And, and for me, living like that gives me the ultimate peace and it helps me mind my business because anything that has to do with them doing anything. <laughs> what? Haven't heard. Don't care to hear. And that is the art of minding your business is learning when you have given enough energy to something and you must move the fuck on. Okay? The secret is knowing what time it is. Nobody should have to tell you what time it is. Okay? I've been getting up early as fuck since the second grade. I am 35 years old and my alarm has not stopped ringing since i am tired you think i'm gonna make room for people and shit that ain't my business i'm not i got enough to do i want to get to the point where it's optional for me to leave my bed and maintain the lifestyle that i have right now it isn't optional right now it is 8 33 motherfucking a.m and i am recording Cause I got shit to say and my head is big. Thanks to my mother and my father. And um, I have to clock in at 945. And I just feel like my thick ass should have been on the treadmill doing four miles this morning. But I wasn't in the mood because I woke up fucking delirious. I woke up at 530 not knowing where I was or why my alarm was going off. And what is that sound? Is that a phone? Does that belong to me? That's how I woke up this morning. I'm tired. But also, I don't go to sleep when I'm supposed to go to sleep because I always find something to do. That's my shit, right? And until I learn to deal with my shit, it's what? That's my motherfucking business. And that's me minding my business. Okay? So the overall theme of this episode is the secret to minding your business is you have to have like a want to to mind your business. Like I don't know what's going on in that person's life. I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know what's going on in his life over here. But what I do know is what the fuck is going on in my life and I got shit to do. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you figure out how to deal with your shit and be great. Thank you for listening to She Gets a Podcast. If you would like to support my podcast, can y'all drop me some new reviews? Now, this is the dilemma with Apple. Apple is such a dick about this shit. So when I had switched from Anchor FM years ago, they didn't delete the feed. So there's two feeds for She Gets It Pod. When you scroll down to the bottom, make sure it's the one under the Who Is Shan um, group. And it's like the newest one. I appreciate you. Leave a review. If you don't like Apple, because I know a lot of people don't, take your ass to Spotify. Leave me a review. Or... You know, pass on the show because the girl is not talking just to be talking. The girl is talking to make a breakthrough in somebody that's listening because a lot of y'all have great potential. Y'all just haven't mastered the art of minding your fucking business and making it better at what it is that you do. I know so many talented people that lack focus because they don't know how to mind their fucking business. Imagine for two seconds what your life would look like if you was minding your business and not mine. Just one, two, one, two. (laughs) Exactly. That's all I'm saying. No hard feelings. Bye.